I'm Debbie of Strong. These are stories from Texas. Some of them are true. That's the signature line for Dr. W. F. Strong's radio program, Stories from Texas, which is now being adapted into a book. Well, I'm excited about it because it's my first uh, creative work. I've done textbooks, academic works before. UTRGV produces the radio program, which the communications professor created. The show, which airs locally on 88 FM and several other NPR affiliates, started unexpectedly. Kind of an accident, really. Uh, I, I had this idea that I would like to do, I would like to teach Texans and non-Texans alike about these great stories that a lot of people don't know of. A lot of the things I was doing, particularly early on, was about the folklore of Texas, the tall tales, so to speak. And so I said, well, that's kind of what we're known for, the, for stretching things, so I'll just say that some of them are true. Dr. Strong has gotten a lot of positive feedback, story suggestions, and one particular question. Which ones are true? <laughs> Some people take it perhaps a little too literally. Uh, but the, I guess the inside joke from my perspective is that they are 99% true. I would work really hard to nail them down and get, get it uh, nailed down to fact. If it's if there are two interpretations of it, or two possibilities, or two understandings, I'll give you both of them and you choose. The book has an expected release date in June. Dr. Strong is already working on the audiobook edition. That is quite an ordeal. I, I didn't know, um, I guess like a lot of people, and, and I'm even experienced at doing a lot of recording, and I assumed, oh, I'll just go in and read the thing. It's difficult to do it in long stretches. You know, I can only do it at 20, 30 minutes at a time without losing qualities. The communications professor is also editing the sound files and will have a book tour once the book's released. Well, I'm excited that, um, you know, finally we're bringing this project to, you know, to a close. And I'm excited about going on tour around Texas to do readings and to talk about the book. It's a fun piece. Until then, you can continue to listen to Stories from Texas locally on 88 FM or online.